So this is a Swift Conqueror 560. I'm going to go around the van and show you how it operates. Front of the van, you've got the hitch, jockey wheel and handbrake. I'll demonstrate to you the, demonstrate these to you in person here on site. In the front of the van, you have your two gas bottle tie-downs. Two 6 kilogram propane gas bottles is the maximum amount of gas you can carry on board the van at any point. On the bulkhead of the van, you've got your gas regulator. Um, we can fit the gas pipe work if you wish us to. Um, doesn't actually come with the caravan as a standard unit. Then got your water pump connection. Uh, we're going to take that with us and drop it into the act roll. So we're going to drop the end in. Like so. Put that down into the bottom of the act roll and push the pump into place in the side of the van. Then got your Audi heating flue for the heating and hot water systems. Um, sends your gas flue. Don't need to do anything with it, but do not cover it up at any point, especially when it's been used as it could, uh, as it creates a lot of heat, as I'm sure you can probably imagine. So please do leave it uncovered. And down the bottom there, you've got your wind down leg on either side of the front of the caravan, and they are just there to stabilize the caravan uh, while it's on site. Um, you'd never lift the caravan with those. It is just a case of stabilizing. You've got your gas, uh, battery locker on the side of the van with your mains power lead coming to the side of the van and also your motor mover power switch in there. We'll demonstrate to you that to you here on site. Motor mover, as we just said, demonstrate, we'll demonstrate that while you're here on site. And then the wheel nuts will actually talk for the caravan leave site so you can see they've been talked correctly. Toilet flush tank takes three and a half litres of water and a capful of the pink fluid prior to use. Then in the bottom, you have your toilet waste cassette. Pull the orange handle up and pull the cassette towards you. The neck here turns out. The grey cap is a measure for your pink and blue fluids. On the back of the cassette you have an orange pressure relief button so when you're tipping the waste away it doesn't spit and splatter back at you. On the side of the van you have your two grey waste pipes coming outside so the fresh water that goes in the front has to come out somewhere so you put your two grey pipes into the larger diameter circle holes on the fitments on the side of the van and they'll push down inside your waste master. On the rear of the van, again, you've got your two stabilising legs, and again, these would only be used for stabilising the van and not lifting it. As I said, it could potentially damage the floor of the caravan if you actually lift the van with those. Behind the door, you've got your two fridge vents. They are just there for essentially allowing hot air at the back of the fridge unit and taking some cool air in, as well as behind one of those, there is a gas flue for the fridge system. Wheels and motor mover, we've already discussed on the other side. 230 volt socket that comes out, it allows power to out to your awning for instance, so you can plug your lead into there and when your lights off there from your awning. Underneath the underneath seating storage at the front um, to access from the outside, and then your barbecue gas point and your other wind down leg. Going inside the caravan, above the door, you have your main control panel, so you've got power on. You have your internal light in. Go along with control panels there. And then you've got your power switch for your Aldi heating control panel as well, which you'll need to also turn on. So once you've got the water pump connected on the outside of the van, the first thing you'll need to do is, is open all the taps up on the hot side of the water system. So you can open all the taps up on the hot side, and then underneath the seat on the front right hand side of the caravan, you're gonna find your drain down valve. Now that drain down valve needs to be parallel with the floor before you turn the water pump on if you're filling the water system up. So as you can see, it's parallel with the floor. If you want to drain the water system down when you're done with the caravan, you actually lift that valve upright towards the bottom of the seat. And that'll actually allow all the water, allow all the water out of the system on board the van. So parallel with the floor prior to turning on the water pump and all the taps open on the hot side. Once you've got the valve done underneath the seat and you've got all your taps open, you can press the water pump switch and then the water system will start filling up. Now you'll notice, start with the water's gonna spit and splatter. It will take about five or 10 minutes for this process to be complete. I have already pre-filled the system on this van, so as you can see, it's filling a lot quicker. As you can see, I've now got water running continuously. So what I can do is I can shut each tap off so that's every tap on board the caravan. And then I can start thinking about warming the water on board the van. So we'll come across to the control panel above the door. On this control panel here, we've got the indicators to tell us it's 20 degrees inside the van at the moment and that we've got mains power coming into the van. 
press the menu button and on the top switch here I can control the internal temperature plus or minus for your heating so that's your thermostat essentially or your room room stat below that you've got your water temperature you've got water on and water boost so water on is halfway up and press it again when this bar is full it'll be water boost when you're showering on board the van below that you have the amount of power that's coming into the caravan from the caravan site you're on you either have off one kilowatt two kilowatt or three kilowatt depending on what site you're on the only way you'll know what you can run your heating and hot water on is by our uh, power supply wise is by asking the site office when you arrive on the site if you want to run the heating and hot water on gas you can very simply hit the gas option at the bottom left hand side here and that will simply if the gas is turned on ignite the gas system and if it failed to ignite you'd actually get gas fail at the bottom of the screen with two exclamation marks either end you have got some advanced settings in the control panel also which if you're um, inside the caravan you'll find the manual for the all the heating system if you go into that a manual it will explain all of the advanced options you have in the control panel such as setting your heating and hot water timers next thing we go to is the fridge the fridge again very simple to use you've got your power button top left hand side press the button and the power will come on at the moment you can see we're on mains power and we're going to control the temperature of the fridge on the button on the right hand side if the gas is turned on and you want to use the fridge on a gas power source, you can also do that by hitting the gas option just here. And again, that will allow the fridge to ignite on gas as long as the gas bottle is turned on. If it fails to ignite, it'll actually flash the pilot light here. It'll actually start flashing. And it'll also flash the red warning triangle on the right-hand side. If you want to try and reignite the gas system, if it has failed to ignite, press and hold the reset button and it will restart the process of igniting. Like I said, gas or mains, temperature control is on the thermometer button on the right hand side. If you want to use 12 volt as you're towing down the road to make the fridge a cool box, you can do that. So what you do is you go to connect to your car first and make sure you've got your 12 volt power coming through to your caravan. You then press, come inside, turn the fridge on and select the 12 volt battery symbol just here. As soon as you connect to the car, as long as you've got a 12 volt live in your system on the back of the car, then it will actually start putting power through to the caravan where it will charge the battery on board the caravan and it will also make the fridge a cool box. You do not need to have the control panel on above the door, that can all be turned off. Microwave, hob, grill and oven all work very much the same as your household appliances. However, the 240 electric ring on top of the cooker will only work when you have a 240 main supply coming into the caravan. Again, the same with the microwave. However, as it can run on gas as well, you've got your three other hobs if you need to uh, use a hob for any reason, as well as the grill and oven. Have your igniter on the front for the oven and you have your light for the cooker as well so you can see what you are cooking. Back to the bathroom in a second in the bedroom if you want to access the storage underneath the bed very simply lift the bed up and as you can see plenty of space in there and you'll also find your spare wheel for the caravan in there as well we go to the toilet system now which is the last part of the caravan we're going to go through toilet system very simple to use on top of the toilet, you have a full toilet full indicator light. So essentially when the toilet waste cassette is full underneath the caravan, this light will illuminate red. To flush your toilet, you have your blue flush button, which you very simply press. You will need to fill it from the outside prior to use um, through the toilet fill hatch, which we've shown you in the video. The toilet seat itself does actually turn for your convenience. So you can turn the toilet through 180 degrees, essentially through the toilet seat. Um, so you can essentially get comfortable. You will, however, when you empty the toilet waste cassette, need to make sure the toilet is pointing straight towards the shower behind us. On the bottom of the toilet itself, you have the grey waste handle to allow the toilet waste into the cassette under the van. You will need to make sure that toilet cassette flat, uh, flap is shut also when you try and remove that cassette from under the van, as it could potentially damage the locking mechanism on it. 
If you have any further questions on the Swift Conqueror 560, please don't hesitate to give us a call here at the Caravan Company and we'll be more than happy to help. We appreciate the business and we look forward to seeing you here on site soon when you collect your caravan. Thank you for now. Bye-bye.